What's up, Libra? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with you guys, the lies they tell and the secrets they keep, the final one, you guys, deciding to move on from this series as we've been doing this long enough, all right? So, if you have a suggestion, go ahead and visit the community post where you guys can leave your contribution, your idea, or something it is that you've been wanting to um, hear from the spiritual realm and nobody's talking about already okay all right so without further ado guys if you haven't already subscribed to the tribe and you actually love my vibe go ahead and subscribe um give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave your comments down below so that we can go ahead and keep this soul tribe growing and glowing guys and i'm loving to see y'all tra lives transform and evolve okay all right, so let's tap right in without further ado. Holy Divine Spirit, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, please use me as a vessel, a clear, concise, channeled message. Messages for the astrological sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the mid-month of July 2021. Who is coming towards Libra? That's in the energy of deception and or secrecy spirit. Who's coming towards Libra? Mm -hmm. Who's coming towards Libra? That's in the energy of deception and or secrecy. Somebody that wants you back. Okay? Somebody that wants you back. Somebody that's having some type of heart chakra activation. Realizing your worth. Uh, in this person's life I feel like you walked away from this individual in the past and you was all tears and I don't even think this person cared I feel like in the past this person was very remorseless about whatever it is that they did to cause you to walk out of their life but now they're realizing and they could actually be the one that's crying for you longing for you wishing that they still had you okay it's definitely some type of you humble, like your exit in this person's life definitely humbled this individual. Um, this person is feeling like they lack in completion. Y'all, revenge in reverse. So this person could have been very vengeful, spiteful, as well as tit for tat when you guys were together or when this person was a part of your life. Because, of course, this can be anybody in your life. This can be somebody you was best friends with. This person may not have appreciated, you know, your loyalty, your honesty, your realness, your consistency. This can also be a family member as well. But... When somebody hurt you in the past and that was the last straw for you, you took a step, you stood up for yourself, you walked away and you didn't look back. <clears throat> and I feel like this person had no remorse at the time. Now this person is realizing that they missing a piece of the, piece of yourself and they could be obsessed with you. They will they are, you know, I feel like also no matter what this person did, you never sought revenge on them. And that's probably why you walked away hurt and upset because you never really truly understood why this person had to do the things that they was doing to you, especially if y'all was thick as thieves, as besties, y'all was close family members, or this was somebody that you consider close to you, like a soulmate, twin flame, or whatever the case, you know? Y'all was like re re and re re and uh, uh, ASAP Rocky, you know what I'm saying? Just close and in love, and this person did you wrong, and they act like they ain't even give a damn. Now they wish they didn't do that, you know? Again, like I said, this person feel like they missing a piece of your, themselves and they, they missing a piece of your, themselves since you walked away. That's why this person is so focused on you. Look how that person has a piercing glare and then right under revenge, we got obsession. So it's like this person seeing you maintain your purity throughout all of the evil shit that they did to you and they wondering how you do that. They trying to examine you now. They want to come back and be harmonious and coherent with you, you know? Why is I won't cry for you in reverse, y'all? <laughs> this person's pettiness. You saw that this person was either a straight up narc or a bully or they just didn't give a damn. Whenever y'all would get into it, no matter who this is in your life, they will always hit below the belt, try to trigger you, make you feel some kind of way. And you just like, this ain't real love. I don't care if it was a, a favorite cousin, a sister, a brother, 
a bestie i don't care who it was to you but you realize that this person petty ass ways because like i said i feel like a lot of one up this shit especially with this revenge in reverse you got tired of playing a tip for tap you know maybe you was never playing it and you just wonder why this person why it always seemed like this person was taking some energy out on you causing you sleepless nights giving you anxiety like i said triggering you so to speak <laughs> so for y'all and making you feel defenseless and and defeated that's crazy as hell whoever this person was they was definitely a negative force in your life and I feel like you finally stood up for yourself and maybe you even warned this person over and over like man if I leave your life don't freaking regret it like don't I'm trying to give you chance at the chance because once I'm gone I'm gone bruh you know and this person wasn't getting it and I feel like now they are because now all of a sudden they didn't have some type of heart chakra activation where they not operating out of a blocked off heart space something ain't work out for them Maybe this person was feeling arrogant because at the time when they allowed you to walk out of your, uh, their life, they could have had a group of friends that they was trying to fit in with or that they was fitting in with. Maybe they was in the spotlight like that. Maybe they were successful. Maybe they didn't need you. Maybe it was the other way around and it was a time in your life where you actually needed them, you know? And this person left you in a rut. And I could, you know, this person could probably tell that you was having sleepless nights over them or crying a lot over them or just feeling defeated. Like, damn, what did I do to you so bad? Why are you attacking me so much? Why are you being so rude? Why are you lacking support in my life? Why every time it feel like I, it's, it's a, a time that you can actually support me where you instead putting me down? Why is heart chakra in reverse? I mean, I'm sorry. Why is uh, artificial heart in reverse here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, this person done. The reason why they was like blocked off heart space because this person was a part of some type of evil secret society or whatever group they was a part of, you know, made this person feel like they was inferior, made them feel like they had control. Made them feel like acting evil was cool. So this person could have did something crazy like join some group of individuals. Whether it was a cult, a coven, you know, a secret society, um, something where they gained some sense of nor notoriety. And they thought that they was above you. They took some type of oath because I'm seeing these both of these hands raised. But it was some type of evil demonic group of people. And so, in whatever way they were sacrificing you, it was because it was cool to whoever this was here. And this person definitely lost pieces of themselves in more situations than just yours. They're very fragmented. And so, this person having been their true self and their own true, genuine nature for a very long time. Because they haven't called back their energy. They're allowing spe uh, specific past events to strip them of their true essence and they just basically having this you know like since like maybe this person wasn't supported by family like this is the type of person that feel like they don't have nobody maybe their family was dysfunctional or something to that extent and so acceptance was something that this person felt through this group and it could have been through a work it could have been through a group of people that they met at work actually <clears throat> but now that that's not working out this person is realizing who was genuine in their life who was there for them despite their flaws despite anything else like they had a true family with you whether you was like i said a lover a best friend or a true family member why is fragmentation here spirit this person need outside validation y'all this person <laughs> See, you know what's up. You see right through this person. You know about whatever they was doing. You know about what they was covering up and who the type of people that they was hanging out with. You could even warn this individual. This person don't have the courage. They too cowardice to come towards you. So it's like they waiting around. For you to come and confront them because they know that you know what they did. 
they want to sit and be stubborn and give you the silent treatment libra or for some of you this is this is you you're gonna be like you're gonna be waiting because i already your true nature has already been revealed to me for some of you you could be the king of swords if not then this is just somebody that sees you as their true match if you the queen of swords energy you cut this person out and they too prideful they acting like they too prideful but what it really is is that this person has been stripped of their defenses unable to block you in whatever way they was trying to playing around with demonic or subscribing to some type of demonic satanic group of individuals <clears throat> trying to sew up your money that's what you could have found out i'm getting 777 here so whoever this person is what they probably got exposed for doing was trying to manipulate a slow up in your money somehow and they was unable to block you in fact it probably reversed and now this is why this person is wanting to come towards you but they afraid to and this could have been something that was done over and over because i'm getting relentless watching somebody is just obsessed with having control why is the oh i was using that other deck just so i can bring some interesting energy sorry y'all Okay, why is the five of swords here, Spirit? Why is the five of swords here? Yeah, see this person played you because you had this genuine, caring, loving heart. They feel like you fell in love too quick and they played on that. They did, and they, they probably clowned you about it too. See, at that time, back then, you wasn't protected. But once you walked away from this individual, you leveled up your spirituality because you probably was going through the dark night of the soul with this individual. You wasn't in touch with your higher self. You wasn't in touch with um, the higher forces or the higher power that was basically supporting you and keeping you protected because you probably was in your south node. Why is the nine of wands here? I'm oh, sorry. Why is the nine of wands here? Yeah. I feel like you was extremely shocked. Y'all, oh my God, wanted to come out. You know, you felt really battered and bruised and realized that it was somebody that you actually loved that was doing that. And that shit shocked the hell out of you. You was like, wow, oh my God. But you know what? At the same time, I feel like that energy is returned to you because how you've elevated your life. This person is on God's side. You and they, they own this demonic energy. Okay, so now this person want to come back in a, in a, they don't even really want to come back. Like I'm getting this whole energy of what had happened was, you know what I'm saying? One of those people that's coming around wanting to explain themselves. Why is the Hierophant here, spirit? you and me i'm telling you now they want to come back now their heart is activated <laughs> spirit said um no <laughs> dead ass spirit said um no okay because this person trying to come in back and see if they can get in some kind of contract with you which they were supposed to have some type of spiritual contract with you but they opted out of the divinity and this is common i'm telling you this storyline keep coming up somebody chose the devil over over God, period. Somebody chose lower vibrational frequencies, energies, paths, and now they trying to come back. Because it's dark and hell is hot, period. Why is the devil here? So this could be a Taurus and a Capricorn dynamic. You are my sun, moon, and stars. Whoever this person was, they was worshiping. A basically a runner, a track star, you know, somebody that like either look good on paper or they look good um, in their Instagram photos. And they was worshiping this person, whoever it was, but they didn't realize that that was the devil. Somebody that was going to have like slow up their life, you know, take take them for granted. This, this should have been something that was temporary. In fact, this should have been a test that they passed, but they didn't. 
they really, really was worshiping whoever this was and they realized that whoever this was had them under some type of manipulation or was a part of some type of dark um, group or they either had attachments. But now they feel binded to this person. You are my sun, moon, and all of my stars, yeah. They was worshiping this person because, you know, in photographs, to anybody that's a sheep or just still sleep, this was a goddess to them. And that's why Spirit like, I don't know. This person did not see your light. They was looking at something completely different, worshiping that, running from you to this person. <clears throat> why is the seven of pentacles here yeah mm -mm. and now they got a soul tie with this person is what i'm getting and i keep getting this witch pussy card in reverse so here's the thing these men are fa falling susceptible susceptible to vagina and you know they end up either finding out that these women are for the streets or the sex only be good for so long, you know, or sex magic is being reversed here. Y'all, yeah, this was definitely um, a type of person that they always attract. This is their type or something like that because with broken record, if this wasn't an ex of theirs that they went back to, then it's a type. It's an energy signature. They keep falling for the same type, like Jamie Lee Fox. Why is, um, and it's this week, like, this was supposed to be something quick, a fling, and they tried to commit to it. Y'all, I'm telling you, some magic was reversed, and it probably was some sex magic. Because, again, I'm getting the same message that I was getting in Aquarius Energy, where once the magic was reversed, the pussy was not even all that. And for some of these people, they faking pregnancies and all that shit. And ghosting them. Leaving your person with insomnia, unable to sleep. Now they want to come back and talk about what matters the most. It probably don't matter to you no more. Why is the seven of swords in reverse here, spirit? It probably do not matter to you anymore. And so the thing is, is that... <sighs> They feel way down and everything is failing in their life because they lost a piece of themselves. They lost who they were dealing with this individual because, again, this person probably is very good looking, but shit, so is the devil. So is the devil. Wasn't the devil the most good looking angel in heaven until it just wasn't happy and having enough gratitude? And so his ass got cast down here. Okay, then. All right. Why is the seven of... So, now that you find it out, whether it's through the grapevine or this individual, which I feel like it's through the grapevine, your intuition, you know, maybe even came up in a reading for you, Libra. But uh, now that this person knows that you know about what they was on, what they left you for, what happened, you know, uh, how things played out after they was just so arrogant because they was just so sure that they replaced you with the next best thing. Now they want to talk about remember what matters. Here's the story, but remember what matters the most. And that's me and you. And Spirit said, oh, no. Yeah. So I keep getting this vacation energy, but I am being drawn to desert as well as this whole, the cat ain't even all that, y'all. Now this person realized it wasn't a one-up because it's the one-up card and it's in reverse. They thought they were sneaking away to some paradise, but they really ran into a fake supporter, somebody that probably stood them up and acted like they was true support, but really they was just trying to tear their life up and they probably succeeded. It says fake supporters. Now they know who the real is, but they realize also they wasn't real with you. You know, this person probably all dried up. But that's the thing. It's probably because work is being reversed. So even if this person wasn't originally like that, it's like you mess yourself up by using your own body, sacrificing your own body to try to put somebody under a spell. When it all falls down, why is the King of Swords here? Yeah, this person ain't gonna call. They not. 
They gonna be stubborn. They gonna try to find a different way. They trying to strategize on how they can basically get your attention again. Life is about the little moments. They keep saying that. Remember what matters. Life is about the little moments. Remember when I did this for you? I don't care. I mean, Libra, I'm sure you don't care neither. I'm channeling your energy or energy for you. For some of you, this person may come through this week. They may already be blocked. Okay, because this week is in reverse. Or they are planning on coming forth this week and they chicken out. All right? This person may even have a child with this person. So they may be stuck with whoever this is. All right, let's see what this person's true intentions are towards you. Because they come in with a whole lot of remember what matters. Remember the little moments. Here's the story. So they're going to be trying to come in on some lighthearted stuff like... Oh, remember when we broke up? Let me tell you what happened. So, see, what had happened was this girl, she had put sex magic on me. And then I left you. And I went there. And it wore off. And that cat was like the desert. But you like how she even get you to lay down to begin with to perform the sex magic, you know? So, remember what matters. And what matters is your dignity, your pride, your self-worth that this person minimized and they was kind of laughing at you as they was walking away because they felt like they was walking into the sun. They probably thought they had a batter of uh, female and I'm just using, you know, masculine slang because you know that's how they talk when ain't nobody listening but the, they boys. Man, uh, it's cool. I, I, I manifested me a, a better bitch, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, what they really manifested is a freaking bruja. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. Again, I keep seeing that people is trying to distort views. This person trying to get you drunk in love again and hope that you're going to um, ignore your intuition. Put some type of uh, distorted view over you. Love bomb you again. Y'all hope that you don't use your wisdom. Hope that you haven't cleared your... Okay, and this is like... Sac uh, saturating your environment with their energy again so this person may just be want to come in step over into your threshold so they can saturate your place with their energy this person may even try to come over and stay a while lay on the couch and you know like let's talk you want to watch a movie now actually i got some groceries in the trunk because i was hoping you was gonna let me cook you some dinner then all of a sudden they touching on all your shit and they energy all up in your home. And even if that was the only day you was planning on being nice to this person and letting them back around you. Now all of a sudden you have to cleanse your whole energy, yoni, uh, or even your peen. It just depends on who you are in a situation. But whoever this person is, it's like they want to come and re-inject you with their energy. They hoping that this talk leads to more. They hope <clears throat> they hoping that they haven't exhausted all of their strikes. Cause I'm getting the three fates here. And honestly, this person can be getting hella karma. Even if they haven't done something like this to you three times. If they treated at least two other people outside of you the way they did you, the way they left you for this person, and kind of went laughing up the road, thinking that um they was finding something better. If they did this to at least two other people, this person is gonna pay. It's time to cut the cord because I'm being drawn to these scissors with that cord there or that thread. Spirit is saying this person had more than enough time to rectify. And I feel like they still trying to send telepathic messages to be to get you to be the one to step up instead of them. Okay. Y'all angels de los mortos. Your dang on ancestors is like, please don't go back to this fool. After we done severed ties, after we done went out and helped you get back the energy that you lost in a situation, not just to them, but to this other person. Because if they was big, bad, and bold enough to put sex magic on your person, you better believe they did some things that affected you as well. You better believe it. Now, don't sleep with that person after they done been with that person. Because that's going to be rubbing their energy off up inside of you. Or on you, depending on who you are, man or woman. Let's get one more. But your ancestors is like, don't do this. Again, I'm getting this invasion of space. So this person may know how to astral project. 
they may be a hacker but they an energy vampire as well and we keep getting that this person wants some type of control over you. That's why the devil showed up. And this person don't have a clue as to how they gonna regain your trust to be able to be trusted in your space to be able to invoke this type of energy again. It's time for you to be brave. You see them with this in their hand, it's time to cut this person off because this is the type of person that would do magic on you. They will. To keep you from what it is that you truly deserve. That's why your ancestors and spirit said, um, no. Okay, like, share, comment, and subscribe, join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.